STEM is, in a way, um, it, it's, a, it's an easy thing with a very big qualification to get children interested in, I think, because we're asking the biggest questions. Really to, I suppose, persuade the students that uh, these things that you're doing, the, the, whether it's mathematics or introductory physics, you're, you're learning the toolkit that you can use to think the biggest possible questions. Our world is changing quickly. We're accumulating knowledge at a rate that we've never accumulated it before, new knowledge. So it's hard to predict in 10 years what we're going to be teaching students. I mean, I, what I would say is that I'm a very strong advocate of making sure the curriculum moves very quickly. I, I think all teachers know this. They know what the students are interested in. And I suppose the trick is to make the connection between the let's say that you're doing simultaneous equations or something and it looks a bit oh dear it's a bit dull to make the connection between that and the fact that you need those basic tools to do cosmology for example that's the thing that i try and do at, at university you find something that you're interested in and more likely than not there will be a, a group of people a society or something in your area that is filled with people who are almost obsessed by that subject. So that's a way of, I think, learning outside the curriculum. And also just, it's really obvious, but reading books. We're in a golden age of science communication now. There are so many well-written science books about every subject you can imagine. And, and what I find is that if you really want to understand something, read as many books as possible about it, because you get different viewpoints.